I want to leave you with some words. Tonight they're going to be in the style of UKIP leader Paul Nuttall in what I hope will be an uncannily accurate impression. <laughs> Hi, I'm <laughs> Paul Nuttall from UKIP. <laughs> to many of you, I probably look like at some point in life I've had to pull a dangerous dog off my mum. <laughs> instant value judgment about me because my neck is the same width as my head <laughs> and I look like I might give you unsolicited advice when you were playing a fruit machine. <laughs> Most of the failed politicians from this election will end up with some kind of directorship. Not me. In six weeks time I'll be breeding staffies and driving a coach. <laughs> people say that I actually look like a male model fronting a campaign urging women not to leave their drinks unattended <laughs> and yet my father was actually a South American magic realist novelist <laughs> it was a tricky upbringing in many ways I'd ask him if I could go to a friend's birthday party and he'd launch into a long digression about a pirate who fell in love with a seal. <laughs> Dad never stopped talking, except when it was time for my bedtime story, which he always read silently to himself. <laughs> of course, I rebelled. I created my own fantasy life to rival my father's. Perhaps I just wanted to stand for something simple, to stand up for the sort of people who put a big St George's flag in their garden during a football championship and then never take it down. <laughs> until it gets so dirty from petrol fumes that it looks like they support ISIS. <laughs> when the general election was called, I phoned my father in excitement, but he seemed subdued. Paul, I have something to tell you. He announced in his foreign accent. <laughs> you are not a real man. You're a character in a story I am writing. I had conceived of you as an ironic commentary on British masculinity. He then announced that he had created my flagship policy of having women examined for female genital mutilation as a piece of satire, as there is nothing more thoroughly British than going on holiday and coming back with a damaged vagina. <laughs> I started to worry that I was indeed simply some kind of racist Pinocchio. <laughs> so am I real or not? Who knows? I have the strangest dreams sometimes. Sometimes I dream I'm a teenager who's suffocating in a shipping container. I feel complete empathy, a oneness with the universe. And I fight that feeling with everything I've got. <laughs> and I wake up. And with a full English breakfast and some strong aftershave, I feel as real as I'll ever need to. <laughs> Good night, everybody. No.